Hey golfers, Drew Mahol at Second Swing Golf here. Uh, we're at the PGA Merchandise Show in Orlando. We're here with Chris Fochel from Mizuno. We're gonna talk a little bit about the new Mizuno M-Craft putters. It's kind of different uh, for, especially golfers in the United States, to have yes. Mizuno putters. Um, but you guys have made some beautiful milled putters here. New to the marketplace in the United States, but yep. it's a great option for sure. So we're excited to talk about these because I haven't been able to talk about putters because we've sold them overseas. Yeah. We sold them in Japan and Europe for the last number of years. But to bring them overseas, bring, or to bring them from overseas to the States, we're super excited about that. On top of that, Mizuno actually has a very rich history of putters. Some of the top putter designer names you know out yeah. there actually designed putters for Mizuno in the past. So it's nothing new for Mizuno to be in that category. But at the same time, as a company known for feel yeah. and precision, Putter is a natural place right. for us to start making golf clubs. So a couple of the technologies we have on the M-Craft, I'm holding the Type 1 right here. We want to bring our feel technologies in, our forging, our expertise in that, our 1025 material, which is the softest of the soft. And on top of that, precision milling on top of that on the face. So that you have a golf club that just feels the part. By milling the face very aggressively, I can't wait for someone to, to go actually try it. Yeah. Because we took so much material off the face that the contact area is very small and the sound it makes is just ultra soft feels phenomenal. And within these, we wanted to do three different unique head shapes. I say unique, unique from each other, but yeah. very traditional in the world of golf because for Mizuno people, they tend to be a little bit more traditional than the yeah. average. So if you look at ours, we have the Type 1, which is a square back slant neck design. Type 2, which is a very answer style plumber's neck design, kind of heel toe weighted. And the Type 3 is a small mallet design. So between these, I'm actually holding them in three different colors, a white satin, a blue ion, and a black ion. Three different finishes in three different putters. We'll do each one in each one, so nine total. Tons of different options for what you want to address. But then again, we always talk about fitting at Mizuno, so right. how do you fit these things? That's always the question. So one of the great things about it is if you look on the sole, there's two eight gram tungsten weights. When you buy this, you'll actually receive with it a weight kit that has two 3 grams and two 13 gram weights. Comes stock with it, which gives you the ability to go up 10 grams, down 10 grams, or even adjust the toe hang of the putter as well. So all of that for $300 for a forge milled with the weight kit putter. It's actually a real bargain. We're excited about it and we're getting, getting it in people's hands. Absolutely. One of the things I was impressed by too is just that these are I mean, forged putters, right? And that's kind of rare out there in the golf marketplace. It is. You know, everyone demands, oh, my irons need to be forged. They have the best feel. And then you get to the real feel areas, the short game and putters. I don't know of another forged putter on the market right now, at least not in the mass market. So we're very excited about this. So it's, it's exciting for us. Want you to experience it. Want you to get a full bag of Mizunos now. Absolutely. Now, one of the things we want to talk about as well is stroke types and, and player putter yes. types as well. Again, you mentioned the the neck on mm -hmm. each one a little bit, but can you go a little bit more in depth into you know how those types of putters are going to fit into each golf? Absolutely. So we're very cautious when we're designing these to make sure we're designing it for different stroke types. Yep. So with the Type One, you'll see actually what we call a max toe hang. It's about a 70 degree toe okay. hang on that. Type two, the answer type, is gonna have about a 45 degree toe hang, so a little bit less. Type three is gonna be a face balanced. If you know what that means, you know what that means. If you don't, what it means is that basically the more toe hang you have, typically that's better for a more arcing stroke, and a more face balance is more for a straight back, straight through stroke. So three different heads with three different fitting capabilities on there. And again, because we have the weights here, you could actually put a heavier weight here and less weight here to actually adjust the toe hang of each one as well to really dial you in fitting wise. Absolutely, the more fitting the better, right? Absolutely. Now I did some testing a little bit with those these putters. I got a chance to hit on your practice screen over here and uh, the, the feel, again, like you mentioned, nothing feels like a Mizuno. And that is the case with the putters, they're tremendous. Awesome. Um, so from a, you know adoption standpoint, both tour players and amateurs out there, how is that going for you guys? Because, I mean, again, it's different in the United States, yeah. so it's been a bit of a transition for you. I'm you sure. know, it's going to be fun to actually try that because it's so new to us right yeah. now. We haven't even started the world of showing it to the tour players. That's the next step. Okay. But we actually... Um, I think they've done it a little bit overseas, okay. and the feel and the feedback has been so good. So it's just getting it dialed in now, yeah, so we're excited. Well, so Chris, thank you for joining us. Mizuno M-Craft putters in 2020, uh, especially in the United States, going to be a great new addition for golfers out there to look at. So uh, Chris, thank you for joining us.